They were my best friends <laughs> growing up. The black kid. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to leave the hotel. I was scared too. Meanwhile, you think it smelled like straight horse booty, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that was. Welcome to Tabletop Topics. I'm your host, Jeff. And of course, Jeff. Guys, if you want to catch our episodes on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, and Amazon Music. And if you want to catch our ugly mugs on Wednesdays and Fridays, we are on YouTube, One Word, Tabletop Topics. We also have our Triple T's Clip channel, and we also have our TikTok channels. So if you see anything that you like from any of those clips, click on the link. It'll bring you to the full episode on our on our YouTube channel and of course we have timestamps so you guys can jump directly to the specific topic that you want to top of, talk about based off the clips and guys don't forget to like subscribe ring the notification bell and of course if you have any suggestions or ideas that you might want to uh, bring up for us on the show then we can have a conversation and and have a conversation talk about it you know <laughs> yeah. I was about to say conversation have, yeah. have a conversation have a, have a, have a, have a conversation you have a conversation about the conversation guys <laughs> Oh man, him Jeff. So I know we were talking before we started recording. Word, but uh, I know you experienced uh, something, <laughs> something traumatic. You oh, what? Man. Oh, there we go. There you, go. <laughs> you experience you, you experience something traumatic. Hmm. Would you like to uh, share with our audience? What this happened Friday, right? Last Friday, what was it? It was last Friday. Last Friday. Well, if it's not Friday, wouldn't I just say Friday? Because we know it's not Friday yet. Yeah, sure. Hmm. But it's the past Friday. It's the past Friday. We're over. So as long as the next Friday. Oh yeah. yeah. So pretty much, um, I was headed to work, and I'm going up. He was going 95 on the 35, guys. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, I'm joking. I'm joking. He wasn't doing that. <laughs> Get out of here. Uh, I'm joking. <laughs> no, no, fuck it. Like, you deserved it. Yeah. You deserved it. Oh, you man. <laughs> That's terrible. So, I'm going up Bell. Speed limit's 45, right? Yep. Speed limit's 45. I'm going up Bell. And there's a lot, a lot of construction taking place in that area because yeah. they're building like hella houses and turn into a four lane road and ex- expanding the road building a sidewalk so there's a lot of contra- construction yeah, especially for the so, kids because they keep mm-hmm. getting hit by vehicles yeah that's crazy yeah that's crazy about damn time bro yeah it only took a lot of them dying. bro 20 years yeah. it only took 20 years right but uh so i'm heading up um bell and uh coming the opposite direction is a dump truck I guess carrying rubble, rock, stone, whatever. Um, and I guess it it was loaded over limit. Mm-hmm. But, you know, no one's like... No one gives it. a shit. No yeah, one no follows one. the... Cops aren't going to pull you over because right. they're like, you got too much dirt right. in your there's, truck. There's not, <laughs> there's it's, not a, it's a not like, load patrol yeah. out there. <laughs> 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 uh. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, so... It's over limit and it's coming the opposite direction. Um, and I don't know, man. Like everything just slowed down. But what felt what was two seconds felt like I don't know. Like I don't know. It was just weird. So um, I guess one of the stones fell out from behind the the truck, yeah. and the truck's already going. Like I said, forty five the opposite way. I'm going 45 the opposite way. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I just see this gallon-sized boulder pop 10 feet in the air. And I just, boom, my body just checked out. My brain just checked out, and I was in full autopilot. And So would you say that's like a self-defense mechanism? I don't even know. I don't even know, but like... It was, everything was just reactive, though. Mm-hmm. Like, I didn't freak out. There wasn't, like, a burst of adrenaline. I think because it happened so fast, I didn't really have time to anticipate it. 
God's like, let's just pull his soul out right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't have time to anticipate it, to like tense up or like, ah, like react. Yeah. It was just like, I saw it, but I think my brain knew, yeah, there's no way. You're not superhuman. You're not dodging that. Mm-hmm. So boulder comes. I drive into the boulder as it's coming down at 45. And first thing I did was just close my eyes. And then I just felt glass spray all in my face. Pieces of boulder spray all in my face. And it had hit the driver's side of my windshield. Yeah. And they really were trying to take you out. Like, I'm like, damn, bro. Like He's speaking that's truth. That's why. Crazy, man. That was crazy. So, and immediately, I just instinctually just hit my emergency button mm-hmm. and just pulled over. And, like, the whole time, I was just chill, man. And that's, and still to this day, like, even when I just periodically, you know, just look Think back about on it. it. Like, I'm like, man, I was just way too freaking calm. Well, again, too, if you didn't have glasses, you would have glasses. Oh, yeah, I'd have too. glass in my eyes. So that would be a different story, but then again, I've had worse happen to me. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, um, I don't know, man. I was just super calm, and then I called emergency services because, like, I wasn't, my life wasn't in danger. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't have any traumatic injuries or anything like that. Um, They sent the community yeah, Police. yeah, the community. I want to talk about that later on, man, because it's... Yeah, yeah, for sure. That, for sure. that, was, that you, was pretty interesting. You can bring it up after yeah. you're telling your story. That was pretty interesting. So, um, nothing went through your mind at all? I don't know, man. Like, I was just... I was numb as fuck, dude. I don't know. I was numb. Because they always say a stiff body during an accident is what... No, I was just... Like, I was loose. I was relaxed. Yeah. Like, my body wasn't tense. I was just relaxed. Mm-hmm. And... It just happened, and I was just like, all right, and hit the button. I didn't yell. I didn't scream. I wasn't pissed. I wasn't sad. I didn't cry. Nothing. You know, just called emergency services in order. Like, I already had a checklist in my brain. All right, these people I'm going to call, mm-hmm. emergency services, call mom, let her know what's going on, call my boss. That's she hyperventilating. Right. Well, you gotta let her know. You know yeah, I mean? sure. So, come we on, just boss. didn't tell our sisters because we knew they'd kill. Well, they them. weren't even near us. Yeah, so they were like three hours away. They'd kill everybody just to get here. They were three hours away. It wasn't nothing fun to happen. Um, but uh, um, and call my boss. I'm like, yo, can't come in today. And they're like, oh, what happened? I was like, da da da, and they're like, okay. Sorry to hear that. Are you okay? And, like, they were super concerned. But in my mind, I'm just like... I'm good. I'm good, you know. As long as you don't ask me to come to work. That'd be crazy. Oh, that'd be crazy. All right, can you get another vehicle and uh, come to work, please? (laughs) Oh, that's crazy. Uh, What the heck? You are cogging the machine. What the heck? That needs to move. That's crazy. (laughs) Oh, man. (laughs) I'm telling you, it's, I'm, hey man, telling you, oh that's crazy. You got in the car accident? Are you able? Did you break your leg? Nah, keep, come on. All right, let's go to work. That's crazy. Yeah, but uh, and I was just like, yeah, and I just talked to him in like super calm. I wasn't like, <gasps> I got enough. But that's not us though, Jeff. Like like I told you when when you saw me, <laughs> that was crazy. I'm like, ain't no. Bro, it's like every time something like that happens, I, I, love I it. default to autopilot and I just do everything without. I love it too because literally, as soon as you saw me get into the car today, you just went to the turn. That lane. was crazy. Yeah, I just turned in. Yeah, and you I just turned, yeah. went across. I and... saw you spin out and fly into that ditch because <laughs> you was coming around that. that Because uh, I was trying ramp. to go your, your You speed. was coming off that off ramp pretty nuts. And then I saw that shit. Was I behind? I was You're, behind. No, you. you were in front of me. I was in front of you. You were in front of me, because that, I was following your speed. I was trying to stay stay with you, but then I was like, "Damn, my left tire is bad. I probably shouldn't have done this during the raid." Bro, you ain't never had that. Like when something crazy uh, is happening, and it's just like, I check out. It's that 
the narrator comes on in your head. Damn, this shit. At crazy. this moment, he knew. Yeah, it's he like fucked up. Like I be thinking to myself, damn, this shit crazy. Yeah. Like who'd have thought? Yeah, and that, who'd have thought? That's the thing too, and and I would say that was the second time that happened to me when I had my old Toyota Camry. Mm-hmm. But the first time it happened to me, I was in the middle lane, behind the vehicle. The vehicle's going too slow, so I decided to move into the left lane. When I was moved, I checked rearview mirrors, turned my neck, look off, and there was no car. So a truck, a, a car behind me, decides to swerve out and hit the gas. So when I turned to go to the third lane, he went right by me. So I jerked the wheel, and my car spun out of you control. You overcorrect, I feel yes. it. Oversteered. I oversteered, and then literally the first thing that came to my mind was, "Well, I guess I'm gonna die," because I was literally in the third, spinning out of control. Word. And the funniest thing is, you gonna laugh. <laughs> How? How am I going to laugh in such a <laughs> dire situation? Because then I, 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 I fucking forgot I have a four-wheel drive, not a two-wheel drive. So when I watch cars. <laughs> oh, you know me. Oh, you know me. When I watch. Drift that whole yep. Time. When, I wa- <laughs> <laughs> when I watch Disney Pixar's cars. And I oh, saw, man. and I saw Lightning McQueen no, going no. on the grass, and oh, then, no. and then his his the guy's like, you gotta turn the wheel left when you're to sw- go right. right, and then so I'm sitting there trying to turn the wheel right. <laughs> That's wild. That's wild. Oh, you nuts! You nuts! See, I can do that. I've done that Jeff, multiple times. Jeff, in the middle of swerving, not knowing if anybody's going to hit me, the one thing that went through my mind is Cars. try to correct Cars. this car. <laughs> Cars. Pixar. Pixar. Yes. I'm like, I learned I'm gonna this. I'm going to die. Pixar, where are you? <laughs> Pixar. I learned this from the TV. Lightning McQueen, take the wheel. Come on, bro. What the hell? I swear to God, I've ne- this is the first time I'm telling you this. But yeah, literally that's first 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 when I realized nothing was happening. You know what I you know what I did next? I put the car in park. What <laughs> while I'm swerving out of control. You what? <laughs> and then that's Yes. Nuts. And then I so so because that's because nuts. that's never happened to me before. That's this is when I was like, I think yeah. I was like 24, 23 years old. Wow, so this wow. is never, this has never happened to me before. So I, of course I'm freaking out at Holy that time, crap. at that time. So, um, yeah, it's never happened to me before. So I'm, I'm just trying to do everything in my wow. power to get this car to go straight and it's not working. It's out of control. Wow. So literally after I did the lightning McQueen in the park and I realized it didn't work, I said, well, guess I'm going to die. That's crazy. And guess what happened? I ended up in the grass right next to a patrol car. Oh, the highway? The highway patrol guy that was giving somebody else a ticket. <laughs> he had to come over and ask me, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm good. And I put in, I put in driving and left. <laughs> oh, word. Wow. Like, he ain't asked you. Like, not, sir, step out the vehicle. No, no. No sobriety test, nothing. <laughs> no. He just asked me, am I okay? And... <laughs> He saw that, and he's like, dude, I don't know how you survived that. That's crazy. I don't know how you survived that. That's nuts. So that was the first time. Test your luck, bro. Yeah, bro. Bro, I'm getting, I feel like I'm using up my luck. I've I've had way too many close calls. I'm using up too much of my luck, bro. Well, then again, I think the last time something like that happened was when I hydroplaned. Um, Yeah, I remember that. uh, I hydroplaned, and I start fishtailing, so the rear of my car started spinning around to the front you try lightning mcqueen so i'm so as the rear of my car is spinning to the left i'm turning the wheel left to the left and uh what i was doing is so i'm turning the wheel to the left to correct it yeah and i stepped off the 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 gas and uh essentially i let it slide and once i felt like i had traction and Mm -hmm. then it wanted to and then my car started going the other way then i started turning it right Gotcha. And then my front wheels got traction. Traction, and then, and then you're I, good. And I kept yeah. going. And of course, the second time was when um, I was coming from Naples, and then you were in front of me. I was behind you. My left tire was bad. It was raining, but I was trying to keep up with you. 
So that was that's when we used to drive crazy. That was crazy. I literally saw you spin three sixty and fly into yep, a ditch. Fly into a ditch. And that's then, crazy. And I literally said but this time I was calm. I'm like, it didn't work the first time. I right. ain't gonna try. Right. I'm like, oh, guess I'm gonna die today. Well yeah, that's the thing, like I didn't freak out. Like I just knew, all right, let me go check on bro. First like time, I kinda in my mind I was just like, I might see some shit. I would say first time I freaked out, but that's because it's right. never happened. Right, no, I that's understandable absolutely after that it was that's understandable yeah after that it's like acceptance you're like eh i guess this is my ticket this is right this is the I'm, end god I'm clocking in god don't need me anymore i'm clocking in jesus <laughs> oh man i'm coming home i'm coming home i so, packed my bags yep exactly so but um, don't let me go out in my work uniform bro that's l's bro, bro. Okay. that's l's as fuck what the heck you going to send me to heaven in a green shirt? Nah, bro. Stop playing. Stop so, but playing. no, that was the second time, but um but go ahead and continue your story. I was just I just kind of wanted to 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 No, to, no, 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 I understand. To yeah, go in that. Yeah, nice. man. I yeah, mean, nice. you just you just check out and you're like uh you you I for me I I accept it. Here's the thing. I do what I can. Yes. You know what I'm in saying? In the moment, yes. In the moment, but the entire time I'm calm. I'm like I'm probably going to die, but hey, let's you know, try to do what we got. Let's do. do what we can. You know that, bruh. Odds, man. Probability. Yeah. Exactly. If I got a one percent chance, I'm gonna fucking do it. Stop yep. playing. Just like iRobot. Stop playing. If I got a one percent chance somewhere in the un- infinite, vast universe, that one percent chance is true. Yep. And it could be here in this point, this point in space time, that percent. Because hey, we're it's Earth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> What are the chances? There's life, you know. If a whole planet can do it, I can fucking do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. If a planet can do it, I can do it. I can do it. I got you. Yeah. So I, I'm just, I was just super chill, and then like, as I'm kind of looking at the damage, like in the beginning, I was like, oh, okay, windshield's busted, but now I'm looking at the damage. I'm like, bro, that rock was gonna take my head off. Bro. Yeah. That rock was going to decapitate me. Bro. That, the only thing, because it already broke through, like. Yeah, like I saw punctures. Yeah, it's punctured. But just that thin film that they seal the glass with. That's what protected you. That's what stopped it. That's crazy as fuck. It was a gallon size rock, dude. And that shit would have took my head off. I would have came to the next episode as Ichabod Crane. If y'all know who that is. This is the end of Triple T. If y'all know who that is. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, man, I was just like. <laughs> well, sir, I'm glad you're alive, well, and doing good. <clears throat> sir, I appreciate that. Yeah. For but, sure. Yeah, it's just, it's sure, just, sure. It's, it, in that, that, again, too, that really does, just ha- makes you appreciate, um, the time you have with everybody. Yeah, and I'm always like talking that. big shit. Oh yeah, in the future. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let me make it from the. <laughs> they almost sent me to the Stone Age, literally. What the heck? But. Oh, but yeah. Um, about that uh community. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. What were yeah, you telling? Yeah, dude. I think that's so <laughs> cool, dude. I think that's really cool. Um, whoever that made that in, in investment into, uh, um the Lee County Sheriff's Office. Mm-hmm. That's that's really dope. Cuz they actually have a separate force for dealing with the community. Uh, they have a community okay. unit and then they actually have their like law enforcement. So if the community can't handle it or finds that it's a risk, right. then they will send the law. They'll send the law enforcement. But like only in like really big emergencies, they'll send law enforcement. Gotcha. But if it's like maybe like a little dispute or something like that or, you know, Roadside service, a car accident, handing out tickets, you know, like just making sure people aren't jaywalking, shit like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, little, little, the little things. The little things, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And uh, and I like that because when I called them, they are like, are you are you in danger? Are you severely hurt? Mm-hmm. I was like, no, da, da, da. They're like, okay, we're going to send, uh, I forgot what they called. I call them community <clears throat> whatever. Because I always say it's community something. Service, I think. Service or some shit like that. And uh, and they still got the bells and whistles, you know. They got their taser, they just don't have they the got gun. the exactly. You know what I'm saying? And uh, they they equipped them with everything except for a gun, with, except for yeah. A gun. 
And that way, they're, like, there to, like, diffuse the situation. And the guy was super chill, man. Like, he was so cool. Like, I was talking to him, and it was just, it was, like, a genuine conversation. I was like, all right, this is cool. This is cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't feel like he was there to interrogate me or, you know. And he he really, like, kind of sat me down. He's like, all right, so did you at least see the vehicle and this? And I was like, bro, I had glass in my face. I had blood running down my face, my arms, shit like that. I had glass in my scalp. I was like, nah, bro. You still finding glass now? Bro. Bro. Like, every single time I, I'm in the shower, I'm just, like, washing my scalp, and I feel a piece of glass. And it's just like, I got to pull that thing out. You know what I'm Cause in, in, and that's oh. the thing I didn't realize, how fast, like, the glass sprayed at me. Yeah. Like, it, because remember, I was going 45. Yeah. So, like, the glass hit me. At 45. Potentially. Yeah. At 45 miles an hour. And I realized that because it was embedded in the skin on my face. It was in my <clears throat> knee. That's why they say when you wash your face, don't touch your face. Right. It, it was in my arm. Um, glass went all the way back to my rear view window. Mm-hmm. I have one of my seats down in my back seat. There's glass in my trunk. Mm-hmm. Like, it just sprayed it everywhere. Just sprayed glass everywhere. But, yeah, um, dude was, like, he was super cool, man. Like, he was super chill. Yeah, that's what's up, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I, and I really thought about that. I was like, that's, like, kind of the thing we we're always talking about. Where it's like you divide the workload of what a police officer needs mm. to do. Yeah, don't saying? put it all on them. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They, yeah. have, they have to, you know, I'm not saying they don't need to do that training. For de-escalation mm-hmm. and defusing the situation and shit like that or you know just like interacting with uh the, the the citizens but like when you have a separate division like that you can really excel in 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 bridging that gap between law enforcement and the community because you have that middleman yeah you see what i'm saying yeah you have that middleman that knows how to talk to people so like if if something happens and uh, uh, you need someone on call or someone to de-escalate a situation or you, you're you responding. They're there. They're there. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So that's a great investment. I like that. That's leading by example. We should do that. Oh, yeah, for sure. I agree you know with saying? that. Instead of buying more guns, let's uh, <laughs> yeah. hire more. Let's buy more guns, let's, guys, because yeah, that's what we need. hire more humans, some people. No machines, just more people. But yeah, man, that's uh, like I said. I'm glad you're okay. Um, I'm glad you're still here because can't really do a, a Jeff, Jeff and Jeff without Jeff. You mean just have <laughs> me on play, bro? We got AI, bro. Just ask Chat GPT to fucking copy my yeah. voice. We got deep fakes. Come <laughs> yeah. on, bro. Just have Bruce sit in this chair and just scan his face. Right. And slap my face. He's gonna be like, all right, Jeff. <laughs> like, why is <laughs> why is Jeff licking the mic? <laughs> Why is Jeff licking the camera? What the fuck is he doing? <laughs> Did he just bark? Yeah, oh my God. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. That'd be crazy. Translate his barking from uh, That'd be crazy. dog language into English. <laughs> That's crazy. That would be dumb. Oh, man. That's awesome. But That's awesome. So, what's up, man? Well, we go going to work in two hours. <laughs> That's crazy. They're trying your life, bro. They're trying your life. But bro. it is what it is. Um, you know us. We gotta get. We gotta get a show out for the fans. So, <laughs> <laughs> so sacrifice some sleep to to get it done. But um, no, man. Um, I'm been, I'm doing good. Uh, been at the been at the other store for a minute now. Mm-hmm. Got three three more days there, and then I should be, and I should then they're sending me back to a different store. A different store. Yeah, you know how it is. Do you do you kind of get a advance notice of what store you're going to? Yeah. So basically, I have to check the schedule every week to see because it shows the store number on the bottom of it. But I do know I'm going back to A47 across Miramar. So um, after this week, but they do the schedule tomorrow. <laughs> oh no, today they do the schedule today. And so I'll see where they're gonna send me, or if I'm just gonna be at A47 for the rest of the the semester. I'm looking forward to my vacation in March. Um, and I was chatting it up with Skyler. Oh word! Yeah, yeah, I was chatting up with Skyler. He I was, heard that man voice in a minute. Bro, he's been busy. He's yeah, been busy. He painted That's his right. house. 
Oh, word. Yeah, he painted his house, he painted his garage. Oh. It was it was him, his wife, Brittany, and Brittany's dad. So, Pops. Yeah. Pops. Yep, Pops is always He always come through, Yeah, he bro. always come through, man. Got him with that bar. Bruh. Oh, that's a nice. I think that was like the first. No, no, no. What was the first thing? Did? Was it the light fixtures or the bar? No, the bar he did himself. The light fixtures. Because remember, he, was, he wasn't, He I think it was in the dating stage when he was. Word. With with Britney when he was building the bar, oh dude, but I love it. Yeah, it's I awesome. love it. It's awesome. It's super but, awesome. Um, yeah, he was basically talking. He's like, yeah, man, maybe I can come. Maybe the I said I said I'm off. Um, I'm taking off uh, March off, and he's like uh, he's like besides, uh, well he's like what are you doing? I said well besides cleaning the garage, like because mom is doing the the yard sale mm-hmm. with the the church. the church. I said besides cleaning the garage, probably nothing, uh, but just doing the show and hang out with my brother. He's like, well, maybe I can swing by and uh, we finally do an episode with you. I'm like, those are music to my ears, my guy. I'm like, what took you so long to say that? He's like, yeah, well, now that your schedule's uh, different and my schedule's different, yeah. but That's crazy. I kind of gave him a heads That's up. That's music notice. to yep. my ears. Yeah, I kind of gave him what a heads up heck? notice. So uh, we might have him. We might have him the, that week of. So definitely we're going to, I'm going to communicate with him um, when he's not busy. Like he texted me on Instagram a, a minute ago. That's the, that's why I was playing that retarded video with the melons of that guy screaming. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, oh, yeah, yeah. So I don't um, know what you be finding him crazy. Bruh, the, you be going on the deep TikTok, bro. I think it's like suggestions. What so whatever he finds. Hey, Lewis does the same <laughs> thing too, man. So whatever deep, whatever crazy things that they're looking at, they send both of them send them to me, which is why it's so funny. <laughs> Yeah, this was oh. so funny. But I got with him, and uh, yeah, he's like, "Yeah, man, I'm." Uh, he's like, "I want to do an episode. Um, I want to do an episode uh, when you are on vacation." I'm like, okay. that, "That's perfect." Okay, word. I said, I, I said, like I said, I was waiting for you to let me know because it's always on. It's always on your time. Damn, dude, everything's getting through that. Do, do not disturb. Because it's not on. Do not disturb. So. um no, that's that's uh, one thing that happened to work today. Um, what did, what did we watch? What did we watch? Oh yeah, so we started uh, that uh, Ragnarok anime. Oh, record of Ragnarok. Record of Ragnarok, which led me. Wait, wait, I still haven't watched season one. No, no, which led me to look at the nursery rhymes. That's what I wanted to talk oh, about. Oh, because the whole Jack the Ripper thing? Yeah, Jack the Ripper. Jack the Ripper said London Bridges... Broken down. Broken down instead of falling down. So I decided to do some research on that and find out, is that the actual lyrics? Because I'm like, man, these Japanese people are saying it wrong. And he wasn't. He wasn't saying it wrong. London Bridges broken down because it kept... <laughs> <laughs> there, was, there was so many fires. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. The bridge is cursed. <laughs> the bridge is cursed. It's a cursed so, bridge. How many times did it burn down? Like uh, 12? Yeah. 12 times. It burned Stop down. Stop building the damn bridge. Well, it burned down in the 1300s, then the 1606, then 1666, the same year as the bubonic plague. Bubonic. <laughs> bubonic. <laughs> what the fuck? They're like... It ain't worse than the Black Death, where seventy million to two hundred million people died. That's the whole planet. Fuck. Earth was like, yo, <laughs> fuck, bro. There is, bro. That's how you wipe out an entire That's race. Crazy. That's how you wipe yeah, out. Yeah, because it was only in Europe, wasn't it? It was. It was, and it, it was, was being carried Europe. by the rats. Mm-hmm. The rat shit. That's how come every time um, the Europeans came to a different. They uh, brought plagues. Yes, they brought plagues and, and killed viruses. and killed the natives because mm-hmm. the natives were never introduced. They weren't, to them. Yeah. So I feel it. Um, I feel it. But no, no, that 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 one episode led me to do some research, and then we found out a lot of things about a lot of people with like um, Baba Black Sheep, where a lot of people said it was it was tied to slavery. It was tied to slavery. It's not. It actually is not tied. But to what slavery. is like he didn't. He was so vague on that one, that specific one. Too. He actually went into detail. Oh yeah, no, no, no. You're actually right yeah. because he said the original Baba Black Sheep predates. Yes. Um, the. Uh, the Atlantic slave trade and the the constant the Constitution the, and we, the, the Constitution yes it was the seventeen forty four something like that yeah it predates the Constitution so but then again American colonies were still but then again it originated in 
Ireland? I think so. It was for the wool tax? Yeah, from it the was. King? The wool tax from the, the, the king that only lived 37 years. That's crazy, boy. Fuck. But he was Life. wise beyond his years. Bro, lifespan was shit back then. <laughs> <laughs> that, that shit said... What did it say? What did we say? 1272. No, 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 no. <laughs> what did we say? You were like, oh, man. All I had to do was bring... Uh, Tylenol, Tylenol ibuprofen. ibuprofen and I'm changing the world like motherfuckers is living till 50 I was like no Jeff that's too advanced for them you could have brought Pepto and it would have saved yeah. half the world what the heck all that heartburn the they heck? had bro no, all that man. diarrhea they had from smallpox yellow fever God, all that damn, bro. bro they was Spanish flu bro, come on bro that's crazy on, all you had to do was bring Pepto you saved half the population yeah that's you just crazy. built super motherfuckers bro super humans that's crazy then then they would start living longer um, back then and, and then, we'd have been smarter yes <laughs> information <laughs> knowledge would have passed on quicker yeah Efi- more efficiently more efficiently what no. the heck well i'm saying what the heck bro you could have saved history with pepto yep that's crazy but that's what i'm saying it's so crazy when you think about it and i would say yeah let's just bring it back for ourselves but we already have a, our immune system is fucking ridiculous oh, it's dumb. anybody's immune system it's from today is ridiculous dumb. so it wouldn't even matter back then du- well if you didn't know um was it human genome or CRISPR or whatever? It's in that sphere. mRNA, CRISPR, yeah. human genome. Um, we technically have the the Man. RNA for every virus that could ever exist in the universe. In ourselves. Wow. Which is why when a pandemic happens or a new virus strain infects us, mm-hmm. our body has the ability... To degree. develop a defense. It just it. has to be introduced to right. a dead version right. of it. Right. It has to go through whatever its archive is. It's like, we've never had this virus. Mm-hmm. So we have to extensively, like, you Test know, it. search through our body and, like, find the instructions. For that. To well, it's like develop the, white blood cells. From Kurtz to fight, yeah. yeah. To fight this, uh, uh virus yeah i remember i remember that like you know, like we have every single virus known to man in our cells it's just no no, no. not, not a, known to man in the universe in the universe if there's like a foreign virus if it's if it's if it's organic life if it's organic like life carbon based life because mm-hmm. you're not gonna find silicon based life that's stupid mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying if it's carbon based life that exists out in the universe Whatever virus they have, we can develop a vaccine for. Of course. I mean, especially with mRNA and and CRISPR and all that shit, mm-hmm. that's piece that's of cake. That done. Piece of cake. Yeah. Piece of cake. You know what I'm saying? So, that's just an interesting uh, little thing like that. A little that. tidbit to go with the, the whole black death. That's crazy. Bro, that is crazy. That's crazy. So, no. So, basically, with the London Bridge is falling down thing, they kept building tall buildings on the bridge Why? and there was no space to get out so every time there was a fire the entire people would die and the entire bridge would burn down they built it how many times four or five times it was crazy it, it, yeah it was i lost count because he just kept saying and then they rebuilt it and i was just like but why stop rebuilding it clearly it's cursed <laughs> <laughs> clearly it's cursed <laughs> Oh uh, shit something is with that bridge it, there's a haunted spirit yeah in that bridge you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, man. But I feel like after the third time, you know, third time's the charm. Charm, yeah. You know. That's probably where that developed. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, think, shit. okay, maybe this isn't the charm. Let's stop building the exactly. damn bridge. Nope. I think, oh, it could have been. Let's get, like, real conspiratorial. Let's it could have been ritual sacrifice. It could have. Build the bridge. Fill it up with people. And then sacrifice. And then sacrifice. Just so in the, some weird fire. Just so the gods don't kill us. <laughs> <laughs> just like Cabin in the Woods. So the gods won't kill ca- Bro. No, but wait, weren't they? I don't know, bro. I just think that's some... That's kind of... That's awfully spooky. Like, me, as a citizen of whatever this... Whatever... Or what was it? London? Yeah. As a citizen of London... If I'm growing up and the bridge is burned down two times in my lifetime. I'm not fucking crossing that I'm bridge. I'm not. <laughs> or living on it. 
I mean, what the fuck? I'm not going to elect myself to go live on the bridge. <laughs> I think that's common sense. Yeah, you know I saying? agree. But, hey, if rat shit could kill 200 million people, I doubt common sense was... Uh, available back in the day. That's I mean, tough. come on. I mean, that's tough. Like, it is. at least have a superstition or something. Like, I don't think at I least know you, you know what I'm saying. Like, have believe in some type of spooky action. Yeah. You know, but nope. I'm gonna go live on that bridge that burned down four times prior. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. To that, to me, that's insane. That's crazy. So, man. what other what other nursery rhymes did they talk about besides... Uh, Ring uh, Around the Rosies, which yeah. also tied into Black Death. Yep, it tied into Black Death, where people thought ashes were the kids dancing around the dead people of the, the bubonic plague, but it wasn't even actually that. Um, I think they don't even know the origins. Of that. They don't. That He was, uh, he was uh, theorizing more on that one um than he was on any of the other ones yeah. the other ones had some um concrete concrete history reference behind or yep reference or right. history That's behind right. it but um it's just amazing when you look at it like that like just me watching that anime led me to do some research on that's what i'm saying yeah that led like me. how do you not just want to know Be- because yeah because i'm you like what i'm saying like i grow grew up and i never heard it said like that. Word. So that's why I had Word. to find yeah. out what it was. And when I found out what it was, um, then I jumped into the whole um the whole Disney, the the whole horror of the of, of Disney, like Pinocchio, the guy that created Pinocchio, um where uh he he made Pinocchio an asshole. And then throughout the entire That's why he turned into a donkey. Yeah. And then throughout the entire, and then they they said Disney dumbed it down. So and throughout the entire throughout the entire um, storyline, they kept torturing Pinocchio, burned his feet off, hung, hanged him, um, drowned him in water. Yeah, like he really did not like the character. The guy that created Pinocchio did not like the character. It got it got so bad that when they when they finally did the uh, hanging him from the tree version, while they just I got a question. Yeah. Who's publishing these books? This no, was this, it self-published. This was this was in the seventeen hundred. I know, but like, who's just going around? Yeah, I want to. Well, because read the stories of. See, this is what happened. Everybody had um, the way he was writing the book was that Pinocchio got tortured and then saved. But after he got saved, he continued the series, like the the whole story where the dad got swallowed by the whale and then. Um, the fairy, the the fairy that mm-hmm. made him into a real boy was actually a woman with blue hair. They turned that into um, a, fairy. The, a fairy with a blue dress instead. Um, all that was changed because the 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 father did save Pinocchio, but after that, he they um, he wanted to continue the story and they kept torturing and torturing and torturing him until right. the hanging scene came up where they were just throwing, shooting him with arrows and knives and stuff like that. And they're like, nah. You can't you can't publish it. We can't publish this. So they told him to get rid of it. He scratched it, but he already created the stories of all of it, which they have hey, actual. Wait, he d- leaked it. He leaked it. <laughs> How did he leak it? Hey, <laughs> you went to the printing Sir, press, Sir James. I need you to. Get to, get to and then he just started throwing the midges off the roofs. <laughs> Sir James, I need you to throw this into the next town. Ride on that horse. It might take a couple of months, but you shall get That's that. That's how he leaked it, bro. What the heck? What the heck? That's crazy. Yeah, so um, that's that's kind of what happened with that and with the whole uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Mm-hmm. Uh, same story, but uh, she turned into the, the witch. Snow White accidentally swallowed the apple. The prince didn't kiss Snow White to wake her up. I thought that was Sleeping Beauty. I mean, yeah, sorry. I said Wait, Snow White. but Snow White did... Same thing happened, Yeah, right? yeah. Like, Snow... she ate the apple and just No, died. Sleeping Beauty poked her finger. And died. And then Snow and... White ate the apple and died. Well, see, in this one, Snow White accidentally swallowed the entire apple. Like, whole? Like, she didn't even chewed out? Like, whole. She... Like, she didn't even chew that she... No. Well, then Snow White's not human. <laughs> She's Orochimaru, nigga. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? We ain't even eating apples. We swallowing them, And bro. they got stuck in her throat. Like, Why? <laughs> no. No. No, 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 no. The story ended after she swallowed the hap- the apple whole. 
No. The so, apple hole. So this is what happened. This is what happened. So she swallowed the apple hole, which put her in the sleeping curse because, of course, it's stuck in her fucking throat. I'm... And then the prince. The pr- <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Jeff, no. This, this, I'm sorry. This, this is hard. No pun intended. Yeah. To swallow. Like, yeah. seriously. Yeah, I know. But it That's was back, crazy to me. Anything's believable back in the day. That's so, crazy. So, basically, the prince. got a fat-ass apple yeah, in, in your, your throat, neck. Lodge in your in throat. In your neck. Yes. <laughs> ah! Ah! So, so she's a man. That's where Adam's <laughs> apple. She's that's, a that's man. That's where that terminolo- that's where that terminology came from. No, but Go basically, ahead. the prince found her. And instead of kissing her, he picked up the entire glass case. And then he was carrying her back to the kingdom. He tripped. She fell out, and the apple popped. <laughs> the apple popped out of her throat. Why and, you just Heimlich? That, and <laughs> that was what the that on? was the first Heimlich. Uh, that was the first Heimlich. <laughs> throw a bitch on the on the pavement. No, he accidentally tripped. You're on choking. The, Let me throw you. So he on was the he was walking, and he tripped. He tripped on the the root of the tree, and she fell out, and then the apple popped out because she fell on top of on the floor, and then. They said, and then so after that, because the prince saved her, they decided to get married. And guess who they invited? The witch queen. But what they didn't know was, like I said, the entire story was changed a little bit. But the what the queen didn't know is, he, the prince was getting married to her grand, her her nephew or niece, her niece. But this is what they did: they put her shoes in the fire. This is this is the shitty part of it. They put her shoes in the fire and they made her dance while her feet were on fire. That's until, crazy. Until she died. That's the part that they took out. See, she should have bit that damn apple. <laughs> Did none no, of that not Snow, no, not Snow White. Oh. The witch. Are you crying, nigga? Oh, no, that, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. She swallowed the apple hole. That's crazy. Yeah. So. I will never forget that. That's crazy. So I had to stop there because I didn't want to go down a rabbit hole. And then I went back to watching Ragnarok. <laughs> Bro, because all the videos keep connecting. I'm dead. All these videos keep connecting. No, but it, it was, like I said, it was very interesting. Joe Biden's actually Aladdin. <laughs> <laughs> How I can prove Joe Biden is actually Aladdin. <laughs> it wasn't Robin Williams or Will Smith. <laughs> Oh, oh dude! Oh, that's crazy! Yeah, bro, that's crazy. I'm you, but it was, it was like I said, it was amazing, man. Um, it uh, just to like your, your favorite nursery. I'm what like, was the obsession with the macabre back in the day, bro? The macabre, the macabre, like death and like grim shit, like scary ass shit. They said uh, the whole thing originated oh. because there was so many dead, so people. much death. Yes, I feel it. So when you saw all, you the, reflect your art reflects. Yeah, your so environment. Your your environment. So basically, they said and that he also did a video on that too, but I didn't watch it. But he was basically saying uh, the, the death came from the fact uh, from the bubonic plague, and then of course the Black Death, all because. There were so many people that died, and there were so many bones on the floor. I think a lot of art from that period of time, you'll notice there's always rats in every yes, in and, every and single painting. It was just like a normal part the of The depiction life. of it, yeah. Right. It was just, there was just rats. Rats everywhere. Everywhere. The Bruh. motherfuckers was... This is where you need, together. this is where you need a uh, truly Nolan. <laughs> That's crazy. What uh, the fuck? Get rid of them. What the fuck? I would have brought in a horde of turtles. And then we would have an army of ninja turtles. <laughs> what the fuck? Why? What? Oh, Why? What the heck? <clears throat> I'm training those rats and turtles, Jeff. What God damn. We would win every war. Bruh. Britain would become the empire. <laughs> I don't know what, what Britain got. What Britain got? Uh, Tea and crumpets. <laughs> Uh, I'm still thinking a glass of water. A uh, water, a water that's what they got. Yeah. Uh, what else do they eat? Everything with no season. B- <laughs> Stop. That's it. That's it. That's it. Really, my guy. Everything with no season. Dude. God damn. Oh man, Jeff. Bro, uh, come on, man. I seen them damn home economic British videos, bro. That should be depressing as fuck. That oh, takes the soul out of oh, me. Oh, you talking about that video? With that you? was terrible. <laughs> that was, bro. She literally just got ground beef. Wrapped <laughs> in, wrapped. She got dry ass spaghetti. 
got ground beef, wrapped it around the middle of the spaghetti with the ends sticking out. So it's like it's as if you got a giant meatball. Oh, my God. Like a giant meatloaf and just, just stuck spaghetti rods into it. Oh, my God. And then she poured this imitation tomato sauce. <laughs> that shit was fake. She pulled that shit right out the simulation. Oh, my Fake ass tomato And sauce. then who had to eat it? And then she poured that shit. And then she constantly has her son taste test this food. <sighs> To the point where the nigga started lying and saying, Mom, I'm at work. Bro, what I do can't you mean? make he it. He just moved out. He's like, Nah, mom's trying to kill me, bro. What the heck? And she's like, mm, This is this good. Is I'm good. like, Why are you lying? I remember, what was his name? XQC? Oh, my XQC, God. right? Bro, yeah. literally was just gagging, bro. Just bleh, the whole time watching that shit. I'm like, Bro, this is tough. Like, I feel he's bad like, for you. He's I was like, like this is this, watch this. Bitch. He's like, this is not even cooked. He's like, it's not even. And then the sun went and bit it. And all you heard was crunch. <laughs> bro was just crunching. <sighs> just crunching oh on the. Man, oh all right. God. I'm off that, bro. Stop. Stop. You're killing me. Where, oh. are, we, where are we going with this? Tough. <laughs> That's tough. Aren't they, like, one of the world's biggest importers? Because, like, they don't really be having shit. Like oh, that, my God, bro. man. You know, it, throughout history, they sent motherfuckers to go find seasoning. Yeah, that's true. So right. they came back with seasoning, yeah. You know, that. That's what it From is. From all the other countries, yeah. yeah. That's what it is. Sorry. Yeah, you right. You see what I'm saying? Sorry. Fucking day, man. Sorry. Oh, shit. You made me forget what I was talking about. <laughs> shit. That was crazy. Oh, man. That was crazy, man. I had never heard none of that. No, no but what I was saying. No, but like I said, um the connection uh, to all of that um, is amazing because you would never know because as kids we think we think these um, these um, nursery rhymes are like innocent nice and all that stuff like that but they all have a twisted dark mm -hmm. something behind it like even even the whole Baba Black Sheep even though it has nothing to do with referencing the what slavery was it, subversive innocence subversive innocence so what they did was they just changed it to uh, um Baba Rainbow Sheep, so it didn't have any connection to slavery. But if anybody does their research, they would know that it has nothing to do with it, it at all. But they're not going to do the research. It's at all. a game of telephone. Bro. Of course, it is. Everything he says she's a game said. of telephone. He says she's. And in sixty years from now, they're going to skew. Every, like we'll be the ones who actually experience the history, but they're going to skew so much because they're going to make movies out of it. I I'm know. pretty sure. Like, think about it, right? The way we view World War Two is through the lens of like a cinematic piece. Yes, like when we watch uh, right. Dunkirk or anything. Well, like not that. even just that. Like any documentary, it's all cinematic. Yeah, you see what I'm saying. But actually living through it, I don't know. But and they're all gone because yeah. we watched a video on that too. Right. Yeah. You know. So we'll never understand. Yeah, we're out. That's tough. Yeah, that is. That's your fault. <laughs> I hope you know that. <laughs> That's it. Uh, we're just gonna go over that. That's tough. We're just gonna, we're just there. Yeah, yeah, we'll just do that. Yeah, I'm about to see my nose running on me. <laughs> yeah, because you were crying so hard. Oh, that's crazy, bro. Bro. That's crazy. Well, it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It is what it is. It is what it is. Fuck it. We'll do it live. We'll do it live. And then, um, when I know it's been a long time. Since we watched iRobot with Will Smith, oh, that was dope. How did uh, rewatching it? I appreciate it. Change your perspective. I, I, much appreciation. Yeah, much appreciation. Cause it, it felt closer to what is happening now. Yeah, the That's year was twenty thirty five. Like back in the day, I watched it. I'm like, ooh, sci fi future. But then, like, the closer we get to becoming an advanced techno species, nah, I'm bullshit. That's like hundreds. Whoa, 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 whoa. But uh. You know, like, the closer we get to automation, and, oh, well, it's already here, but the closer we get to full automation, mm, that's tough, full automation, um, you kind of see where they went, and the whole point is to sell you a new robot. Yeah. It's to get you to buy the next robot. Yeah. Well, that looks like they were giving those away. Oh, yeah, of said. course. You so, just had to trade your You old need one. socialism to have full autonomy. Yeah, you just had to trade your old one. Like, everything can't, like, who's going to make money? How do you make money? How do you generate income if everything's autonomous? Yeah, that's true. Socialism. 
and that's the thing too that's the one thing that that i that i kept that kept growing going through my mind was what was like how are these people working they're getting paid like they're cooking every day they're home every day they're doing all that but it's like the only people that are actually making money are were people who had real jobs real jobs like cops and and yeah. scientists and like stuff like actual because you'll never have a the robot stem, the do stem a job. fields exactly the well no because even then engineers were all robots yeah that's true and then you that's had true. what was her name valerie vicky vicky, vicky. she's the Evil. super ai quantum computer you don't need that created her own code right. that we so, were predicting exactly so but even in that in that circumstance it's just like only those who actually had like nice jobs could afford remember when we were joking about um regular food is going to be a luxury yeah at some point in time yeah because of how expensive it is to, to eat know. a normal american breakfast yeah exactly you know what i'm saying because even you were saying that yeah yeah that's why they're pushing this whole plant-based bullshit and mm -hmm. this lab-grown meat because it's going to be cheap to make you don't have to put as much an investment into farming and, and uh, uh, cattle and shit like that vaccines mm -hmm. soil you know crop rotation all of that yeah all of that pesticides you know paying workers in for the work work the fields all of that transporting you know gas. Well, that's why they're making machines to spray the pesticides yeah. they're making machines to collect you know the saying? stuff yeah you cut all of that out you know what i'm saying normal food that we eat today that we I feel like we're going to start. We realize how much we took for granted. Mm -hmm. Like that's gonna be, that's gonna be luxury. Yeah. Oh wow, you can eat eggs. What? Well, that's you can thing. have eggs in the morning. Well, that's the same. That's the thing too. Oh, you can. Uh, a, yeah. a lot of people are. I've I've realized are more appreciative of what eggs are now because they would be upset, picky, or mad if we didn't have an organic with vitamin A, extra large brown organic cage free mm -hmm, this and that mm -hmm, now they're just mm -hmm. fucking buying eggs I was just buying and it's like eggs you did this in the early 2000s late 90s where we just had eggs we didn't have all this extra shit the organic mm -hmm. the green wise the 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 vitamin a mm -hmm. the cage free the brown the mm -hmm. the white the small the extra large the medium mm -hmm. we didn't have all that mm -hmm. it was just eggs you how much them. question how much is bacon bacon right now yeah um i can check go ahead do that real quick average price of bacon oh you just want me to do an average or you want me to yeah just... average price oh. All right. average price you see what i'm saying uh, all right um hold on because it's going all the way back to 20 Oh, word? Okay, just give me the past five years. Uh, okay, so from 2012 mm -hmm. to 2020, bacon was at $4 uh, from 2012 to now at 8 um, That's what I thought. 8 to $7. That's what I thought. Because yeah. when I started working at Publix... Yeah. Average is $7.24 yeah. mm -hmm. compared to the $5.58 in 2020. It ninety percent increase over one year. See what I'm saying? Yeah. See what I'm saying? So I don't know, man. Either you try to keep up, and try to make more money. Mm -hmm. Well, and that's I had a conversation with a guy that worked for Red Baron today. He's like, it's crazy because it doesn't matter how much the the pay goes up, everything matter. is expensive. So. It's the same thing. It's it like a, it's like even if you get paid fifteen now, it's basically seven dollars when it was back in two thousand five. Exactly. So it's the same thing. It's just you matter. adjust for the inflation and, and and you're getting the same thing. So it doesn't matter if you're getting paid. So honestly, if you're not in a good setting or like if you're not getting paid twenty one, you're gonna be fucking struggling. Oh yeah. Because the average now is fifty thousand dollars a year, which was thirty four thousand in the early two uh two thousands. And it's the same thing. You just have to adjust because the price, the cost of living is high. And I remember we were having the conversation about 
about how they had to because of the bird flu they killed 22 million chickens that's but bullshit but there's 22 billion there's that's more 22 than 22 billion that's, that's why when the, the first time they told me i was like they're gonna throw every analyst at you to and me. like just try to break down all the numbers and yeah. Like, okay yeah 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 this might be happening yeah. you know a good you yeah. know what i'm saying depending on where you got your numbers your sources da 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 because i don't think all information around the world is converging into one hub where you can get concrete evidence of this is what's causing this is what's causing this it's just you go through your sources and whatever fits your argument or uh, the framing of what you're trying mm-hmm. to sell me yeah. you know what i'm saying the data will back that up yeah and that's legitimate data that's available mm-hmm. okay sure but at the end of the day you're not gonna tell me that there are 22 billion chickens on this more planet. than humans twice the twice almost three, three times, times the amount of people of amount of people and only 22 million was killed yet we're still skyrocketing eggs after 22 gotcha. million god gotcha. that doesn't make any sense gotcha. even if you did kill 22 million chickens there's still 22 gotcha. billion, billion of them chickens. gotcha I so gotcha. that doesn't make any sense, makes sense. yeah but don't t- don't tell them that jeff that makes sense. So that that's why there's a shortage because go ahead, show me all the data. All yeah. The, nah. Yeah. Nah. You ain't selling me. Since that. 2016. You ain't selling me that. Since, nope. Yep. Since 2016, there's been, there's 22 billion chickens in the world. That's three times the amount of humans. You ain't selling me and that. And on boo. average, a chicken will lay three to four eggs a day. Exactly. Now you times 22 billion times four. Exactly. There's plenty of eggs for the world four or five times over that's crazy but eggs are going up why but if we dig deeper we're going to be sound, we're going to be labeled as crazy conspiracy theorists You're crazy. well enjoy your soylent green <laughs> <laughs> right ah uh, man hey man enjoy what the heck what the heck they, they are literally conning the populace yep and people are believing that like you said, people take it at face value. Mm. Some people take it at I'm face value. Eating it. Not all, but some people take it at face value, and they don't. They never question it or think about it's it. Or it. yeah, that's tough. That's tough. So, that's crazy. We gotta wake up, guys. We gotta wake up. That's crazy. Answers are always in front of your face. It's just, are you willing to? Open your ears and pay. You gotta it. ask the question. Yeah. You gotta ask why. How do you just uh, not... Damn, I gotta stop saying this. How do you just wake up and not want to know? I think why? you should... I, should, I think you should continue to say it. Why? Why are you doing this? Yeah. Why does it keep going up? Why should I accept this? Yeah. Because now That's people... Because if you think about it now, because we talked about this the other day, no one is focusing on gas anymore. They're more worried about eggs that's how they get you boy. what the fuck you eggs doing? gas is 363 and you know how i just be yo-yoing like dumb as yeah shit, they'll drop to 319 yeah and to all the way to 299, 299. then they'll jump to 229 yeah. then they'll yeah. jump to two uh three then they'll jump to 350 mm-hmm. then they'll do this they'll do that and it's like you're playing games yeah no they, yeah, exactly and they'll the and remember how do you get a lot how you get most of the mass you focus whatever is the issue on the news. So divert people, their attention. Yes, exactly. So you divert their attention to what you want them to listen to, and then you can do whatever you want behind the scenes with every, everything else. That's it's that easy. But I feel it. to each his own, you know. You can only uh, get to so many people that want to listen. So it is what it is said. Yeah, yeah listen. I just want you to ask. Ask questions. Ask questions. Talk don't just people. take everything at face value. Yeah, talk to people. Like, I don't want everyone to just be consumed by the false reality of what they see online and what they see on the news. Like, mm-hmm. like this is, like, there's people out there in real life living real life. You see what I'm saying? And yeah. You see something, ask them about it. And if they don't see it, and if they didn't see it before you asked them, boom, you just, hey, light bulb, mm-hmm. this doesn't make sense. It's a chain reaction. Why doesn't it make sense? Right. Now you're going to do some research. Yeah, I don't have to be like, I don't know, a public speaker or like someone important. Yeah. Just, I just got to ask the right person the right question. Again, too, like when I was watching the anime, I could have just said, oh, okay, whatever. Right. 
But I was like, nah, this ain't right. I gotta figure this out. That, that's not what I heard my entire childhood. And then I did some research and it's like, oh, fuck, this is the right way to say it. And it's like, fuck. Makes you want to learn. I'm still gonna say it the OG way though. Of course, but it's nice to know. But though. it's nice to know now that I added yeah. that piece of information in my brain. Yeah. Now I know. Ever, anybody ever starts singing or anything like that, then you know. I'm gonna keep singing it wrong. Yeah. Even though I know the right way. Yeah, to sing. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because I am purposefully contrarian. Whoop 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 whoop. Oh man, that's really wild. stupid. That's wild. All right, man. Yeah. Is it about that time? Is it? Is it? Is it? I don't know. You is tell it? me. You what? <laughs> <laughs> tick, tick, sir. Tickety, tick, tick, tick. tick All right, tick, guys. Sir. Guys, we have a special guest coming on Thursday. It's going to be exciting. But uh, thank you for joining us at the Tabletop. If you want to catch our episodes on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we are on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, and Amazon Music. And if you want to catch our ugly mugs on Wednesdays and Fridays, we are on YouTube, One Word, Tabletop Topics. We also have our Triple T's Clips channel and our TikTok channel. So we put our clips on there. If you see what you like, click on click on the link uh, and it'll take you to the full page. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> you can never let me finish, huh? Yo, that reverse was... Yeah, yeah it, it was. It was. Tripping me out. I'm like, wait. <laughs> yeah. Go but, um, yeah, click on the link. It'll take you to the full page. We also added timestamps so you guys can um, get, go directly to the topics that we are talking about. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, and ring the notification bell. And if you have any ideas or anything that you want to hear us talk about, uh, write it down in the description down below. But uh, again, thank you for joining us at the tabletop. You guys have a good night, weekend, evening, and or day. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all. Thank Goodbye. you.